clap, clap, clap. That's really loud. That's really loud. I got talking to this mic, huh? Yep, you got talking to that one. Like a lot, like just, like kind of kiss it. That wasn't as, that was a little more wet than I was expecting to oh. Gross. Welcome everybody to another episode of Best 05. Featuring uh, Chris and G. G and Chris. What is this for? I don't know. It's going in the trash. It and completely I missed. missed the trash, yeah. <laughs> how are you, my man? I'm good, man. How are you? How are you? Wow, that's that's a you're like in a positive tone today. Gotta be, because I'm tired as shit. I wonder why. And I hurt my nut. <laughs> While nutting or just... No, it was like, I sat down weird, my jeans pinched me, so... Ew. Yeah. You're old. Yep. That means they're sagging, like, a lot. Also, it's funny, I just realized... Oh, they're just, like... I realize that I look at you here, and then I look at you here. I never look at myself, cute. which is over there. Cute. I just look at the camera, because I like addressing the people. I like addressing you, but there and there. I like talking to our people. Hey, everybody. So, yeah, how's, uh, how's the week been, man? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Got... Three days off in a row. It's going to be interesting. We're back, which is cool. Yeah, we're back. Getting in the grind of things. I've realized that sometimes it's good to take breaks, people. And uh, make sure you take breaks from work, too. You got vacation days, you know? Just Definitely take vacation days. Like, All the days. Don't slave for them. You slave for yourself. Yeah. That's not. Yeah, that's I was like, uh, don't slave for anybody? Yeah, don't. Because don't. slavery is illegal? It is. By the Emancipation Proclamation? And I think it was the 14th Amendment, actually. Oh, okay. The, the proclamation just said, hey, you're emancipated. Ah, uh, okay. And then the amendment actually, like, made it, like, official. Uh, once they added it, then it actually counted? Yeah, in, unless you were from Texas and you didn't know, like, until, like, a year later. That's because male, I guess. <laughs> no, because the Southerners are dicks. And, like, well, Texas wasn't really part of the South. Yeah. Like, they, they're in the South, but Texas is just Texas. They're like, they were, like, the South, but, like, on roids. Yeah. Kind of like they are today. Yeah. 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 Anyways, let's anyway. start this. <laughs> let's get this thing going. <laughs> Round one. Oh, cute. All right, Chris. Yeah, that Android technology, bud. I guess. Way better than Apple. Uh, the <sighs> next topic oh, is going to be seasons. Apple versus Mac. Fuck you. We're doing this again. No, I'm we're just kidding. We're doing seasons. <laughs> seasons. We decided that uh, when it comes to seasons, we're going to talk about everything that's a season, whether it be a TV show, the weather. Or salt and pepper, but not the group. I mean, couldn't they be a season, or they're more of a spice? They're more of a, they're more of a spice. Ah, okay. I think they're more of a. So they're kind of like Spice Girls, what but not the Spice. So girls. What, okay, so can, okay, if we're talking. And we're already off topic. If we're talking <laughs> about seasoning, what is considered seasoning? So. Is, is spice a seasoning? Uh, I mean, certain spices I would say could be seasonings, yeah. But I feel like if it's spices, it should just be considered a seasoning in general, right? Well, yeah, I think seasonings are just like what you flavor food with. So if you flavor food with anything, then it's a seasoning. Okay, so hot, uh, hot sauce. That's just a condiment. <laughs> are we gonna go? No, on this, this is in the cooking process. Oh, in the, in the cooking process. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I mean, you can put hot sauce while you're cooking. Yeah, and then it'd become a seasoning, or a marinade, probably more likely. Yeah. So if it's if it's dry, so if it's like a dry rub, it's a season. Yeah. If it's a wet rub, it's a wet ugh. season. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> All right, let's talk about uh, let's talk about like weather seasons. What's your favorite season? Winter for sure. Really? Yeah, dude. Why is that? I love winter sports. Sn- uh, snowboarding, going to the mountains in the winter. Oh, all like that. like actually doing them, not like watching them. Well, also, yeah, I like watching winter sports too. You're like a big X Games guy. Olympics, curling, number one. Curling. I'm surprised that we don't have a curling team. Like me and you with like four other people. I mean, now we do. Let's do it. Who? I don't know. Does the Ice House still do it? Or I, they think, I think they stopped it? doing it. Oh, bastards. Because, you know, last year. Yeah. What happened last year? I don't remember. Dude. We yeah. started a podcast. Speaking of seasons, the dude, worst. Seasons are almost over, and it's almost next year. What? Like of TV? No. Of oh, year. like weather seasons. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. No, I mean. So Summer's coming to an end. Fall's starting. Which I think, means it's the end of the year. I think because of global warming, summer's not my favorite anymore. It's too fucking hot and fiery. This year's been so bad, dude. Yeah. Like, hot, no rain. Mm-hmm. Like, if you need to wash your car and you want to have it, like, <laughs> like nice for, like, at least three weeks, like, do it now in this season because it ain't going to rain, man. Yeah. It ain't going to rain. Uh, no, I love fall. Fall is definitely my favorite season, though. You would. Pumpkin spice ass motherfucker. I mean, that, it's my birthday during during that time. Mm-hmm. 
which I mean, I don't really celebrate, but mm. whatever. Um, football season starts, which is super cool. Gross. The weather slowly starts cooling down, so then that means the leaves are changing. So if you head like down to Aspen, Aspen, or just up to the mountains, I guess, not even just Aspen, like it's you a beautiful, it's a beautiful you drive. And go check out leaves changing. I like going to Estes and just being like, cool nature. Like, huh. that's really neat. Sure. You you don't like you don't like the leaves changing? I don't give a fuck about the leaves changing. That's dude. like the like the best like color palette when it comes to a season. Nah, I like white, just plain white everywhere. I guess when winter's pretty cool, but the the cold does suck. And if you're not snowboarding consistently, like it really does suck. Yeah, I need to get my season pass real soon. You're gonna get this year? I don't know, maybe. Your season pass? My season. Let's talk pass? about a season pass, yeah. huh? Yeah. Uh yeah, dude, isn't it like eight hundred bucks right now? Or is uh, it going up? I don't remember. Yeah, it went down from where it was. They reduce the price on it i just don't remember what it went to well then you have all these transplants that are gonna oh god what did i just why do? are you touching stuff there you like? go nothing just nothing touch anything you seem distracted on this episode or no this, this topic i'm just trying to figure out like <laughs> what to talk about for another three three thirty here because fall. favorite season of tv third of third rock no any episode any series the best season is always the third season i'll say season i'll say season five Mm, that's when it starts to fall off. That, that's when it hits its peak, and then after that, it starts falling off. Mm. Ah, well, season four. I'm going to go season four. Yeah. Okay. Any season four I'll, is... I won't disagree with season four. Season four is like... Yeah, like season two and three is like definitely like the uphill. And then season three kind of like plateaus, but like it's still going uphill. And then season four, it's like the peak of it. And then season five, and it's like, like yeah. The Walking Dead. I, I think that's like, I think that's like the, the, the greatest example for me is like... I don't think I watched it past season two. I don't think. No. It, what was the prison one? Was that season three? I think that was season three. Yeah, I didn't watch it after that because it was dumb. <laughs> after I was like, mm, mm, it's dumb. Yeah, I mean, that's that's weird, man. Um, what else is there? Uh, Community, definitely best season of season three. Yeah. I never got past season one on that one. But I've heard it's a, like, it's like a must-watch, too. So yeah, I wouldn't say it's a must-watch. It's Just watch season three. Okay. Yeah, you don't need any context. It's pretty self-explanatory. I guess. What else is there? Of seasons? Yeah. Like... Best favorite season. We didn't talk about dr- the dry rubs. Oh, we didn't talk about the dry rubs? Mm. I like pepper. Yeah. I like a like a nice cracked black pepper with some nice ground white pepper. Does that really make a difference? Yeah, it does. Does it? It does, 100%. Is it more fresh, even though it's, like, not? So, yeah, the whole peppercorn, once you open it up, you lose a lot of flavor because you lo- lose a lot of, like, the smell of it. So... When you crack it fresh, you still get the aromatics from it, and then it enhances the flavor. Outside of uh, salt and pepper, what's what's the go-to? Coriander. Coriander? I don't even know what that is. Lemon pepper is mine. Mm. So coriander is the, you know, like cilantro like seeds? Like cilantro grows and has little things on top? Sure. I've never seen cilantro grow, so I wouldn't know. Wow. I thought you were brown. I am, but we just grocery shop it. We don't grow it, mm. Mm. you know? But anyway, yeah, there's little seeds on top. Coriander is basically cilantro. Oh, okay. Lemon pepper is where it's at, man. I like lemon pepper. I'll get down with some lemon pepper like, for sure. It could make anything good. Uh, I wouldn't say anything. Yeah. I mean, hey. you, can put on, you, can put on, you can put it on seafood. You can put it on chicken. You can put it on beef. Yeah, but... Can't put it on turkey, though. It's weird. You could. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, you can. I it's guess you can do whatever you good. want. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, I, what, okay, we never talked about spring, which apparently is like our least favorite. I fucking hate spring. I die every year in spring because of my allergies. Oh, yeah, and that's always when I'm like, what's wrong with you? See, listen, this is what I sound like. Well, this is a different reason. <laughs> yeah, because there's sick. smoke and fire everywhere. Yep. God, it sounds like a Grateful Dead song. <laughs> smoke and fire <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> that's, how, that's how the song goes, right? I think so. Yeah, okay. Like every one of theirs? Every single song is the same. Yeah, I mean, The Grateful Dead all sounds the same. Sorry, Kirk and Sally, but it totally does. This topic has gotten so far, of course. No, it hasn't. <laughs> yeah, it has. We're talking about... <laughs> it was supposed to be about, like, weather. I mean, we did talk <laughs> about every single season and how much we don't like spring. All four of them? That's all we have. Yeah. Isn't it crazy right now? That, isn't it, like, winter in uh, in Argentina? Uh, yeah, the Southern Hemisphere is winter. That's weird. That's weird to think about. I mean, it's not because science. Yeah, but it's still weird bitch. to think about. Like, imagine like it's <laughs> that is time. Sorry. Imagine it like snowing in like July. Yeah. And it's just like weird. Well, a lot of the su- southern hemisphere like isn't necessarily cold in the winter. Mm. It's cold, colder, but you have to think of like all the places that are in the su- southern hemisphere are hot anyway. Like what? Australia. 
Yeah, don't they get a winner? Yeah, they're winning winner right now, but it's still not like that's weird. I thought that's because of the freezing. I thought it's just like the way the sun works. Yeah, it is, but it's still the southern hemisphere, which is just hotter. Screw the southern because the way the sun works. I've never been below it, so fuck them. All right, on to the next subject. Round two. All fuck. Fuck boy. All right, this will be a good one. All right, G, what is the next topic that we have All right, on the agenda All right, for C. the next topic All right, C. that we have? Best chips. Ooh. I'd say poker chips for sure. All right, stop it. We're done doing that <laughs> bullshit. We done? We're we done, done doing that <laughs> bullshit. We stretched it enough for seasons because we didn't know what to talk about. Four seasons to talk about the entire time. And chips, does that include fries? Uh, I like think kettle chip or is it? I like, guess l- l- let's start with the the best style of chip. Tortilla. I personally like ch- kettle chips for sure. Like, yeah, I like ke- so if I'm doing potato, then definitely like the kettle chip version like of it. Miss Mickey's or like Boulder chips, those are mm, always my go-to. Yeah, but I'm definitely more of a fan of the uh, the, the tortilla, tortilla chip. chip. Guys, I mean that's not. I guess it is a thing. Because I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of like tortilla chips were like made like Mexican made in the U.S. or actually made like Mexican made in Mexico. I'm assuming. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm assuming it's made in Mexico. I think it was made here because our chips would just be like dried tortillas, and like over here there's just like fried tortillas, right? Yeah. They're fried everywhere. That's how you make chips. I don't know. I honestly don't. (laughs) I honestly legit don't know if it's like in Mexico if they have like just. Oh, this is like a dry, tor- like an overcooked tortilla instead of fried. We just eat it like yeah, that. Yeah, well, being the leading expert on Mexican knowledge oh, in okay. the room. Nope, that's your invalid. I'm pretty, anything, pretty anything, sure they were made in Mexico. That, that, that. I, I don't, that, I don't that, think they're like that. the uh, style that you get out of the bag, like every the time, Dorito or whatever. But here's my new rule. Every time you try to do like a Mexican, like, for here's a fact of it. I'm just going to um, talk actually. over it. <laughs> I'm just going to talk over you the whole time. Yeah, uh, yeah I got like kettle. Tortilla chips are good. I mean. I just like me some chips and salsa. It's probably my favorite. Meal what's, to eat. what's your favorite? Notice I said meal and not snack because I eat that <laughs> shit as a meal. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. He go he goes to like a Mexican restaurant and doesn't order anything besides yeah. just Can I get a water? And a side of beans. That's all I need. That's all I want, thank you. <laughs> it's just like Yeah. <laughs> cheap date. Um yeah. what's your favorite chip? So it makes me feel like a child when I tell people this, but Takis. I fucking love Doritos. I've loved Doritos since I was like fucking three. Doritos, dude. Nacho cheese flavor is great. Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch is good. They have a Tapatio one out now that's fucking delicious. I tap my uncle on the shoulder. Call it Tapatio. (laughs) (laughs) That goes to Armando. Uh, It was funny. (laughs) Growing up, uh, because, yeah, my family called my uncles like, oh, go to your Tio or whatever. Yeah. And... Every when I saw Tapatio, I literally thought that it was like, "Oh, is that this uh, this hot sauce means uncle?" Yeah, pretty like, much. Yeah. What is that uh, Gabriel glasses one? It's like, what did my dad look like? And oh, the points at the <laughs> like these. Um, yeah, no, Doritos are super legit. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're 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 always good. Like, there's never a bad moment to have Doritos. Dude, the best memory I have, you know, like, like you, ever. Well, for Doritos specifically, <laughs> okay. I guess. You know, you go outside, like, you're playing in the sprinklers hard as fuck, right? Yeah. You go inside, eat, like, a nice little turkey sandwich, and then that first Dorito after playing hard in the sprinkler, dude, that's the best Dorito. I thought you were doing, like, the whole, like, Capri Sun, like, run to the fridge. Yeah. What do we want to drink? And you just get the Capri Sun. And then, fuck it, was the Capri Sun the one with, like, the metal liquid Terminator looking guy? Where they all get sucked oh, into no, the straw or that something. That is, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm thinking of Sunny D. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, of. okay. But yes, Capri Sun actually was that. Yeah. It was a Silver Surfer. Gross. Right. Stupid '90s animation, but I gotta say my favorite chip is probably the sour cream and onion Lay's. Mm. Okay. Like that just. I'm, yeah, I would rather spot. do like uh, sour cream cheddar if I were to do that. Oh, but. that's actually not bad at all. But actually, no, I changed my mind. Um, growing up, our favorite one was. Uh, ruffles, but we call them rufles. Rufles. Rufles con queso with queso. They're like a very specific bag. We used to go to Mexico and uh, see. They do make chips in Mexico. <laughs> Told you. Yeah, they make the, the best chips. By the way, <laughs> they're we're not. Bringing, send- we're bringing the best. <laughs> they're not sending their best chips here. <laughs> yeah, we, they're all stuck over there. <laughs> no, but they're, they're, yeah, rufles and with queso. Every once in a while, they would actually you would actually find like a big old thing of cheese that wasn't. Oh, like just like mix- a chunk of yeah, cheese in there. Like, yeah, and you're just like eating, be like, oh my god, this is gross and amazing at the same <laughs> yeah. time so they have those they have a 
salsa britas, which is Lay's, uh-huh. uh, but with limon. Those are amazing, too. Yeah, we have those in America, too. Uh, no, those are called Lay's limes. Not the same. No, they're called Lay's limon. Oh, they're not the same. Definitely not the same. We used to go to Mexico and like get like seven or eight bags of each of these things and bring them over. That's how good they were. Like you can ask my sisters and my dad. Like that was like the one thing that we had to get every t- every single time. All right, and they'd be gone in a week. Yeah, gone in a week. It's so stupid. you remember that one time we got all wasted, went to the store and just bought random flavors of chips. Like we got. Oh uh, yeah, we went to Walmart. Didn't fucking we? chicken and waffle flavor, which is the best one, by the way. It just tasted like maple, if I remember correctly. It didn't even taste like chicken and waffles. It just tasted like syrup. syrup. Yeah, so pretty good. What the fuck else did we get? Like pico de gallo flavor. I think that's the first time we got the tapatio ones too, actually. Yeah, I don't remember. We got some that, random that was, fucking flavors. That was during the whole, like, Lay's trying to find, like, their new flavors uh, and just trying, like, random things you can vote for them. That's the, I remember that. Yeah. That was, like, G in the spot days, dude. Yeah, it was, like, us and Lowe's? Yeah. yeah or, we, we went or was it Captain? I don't <laughs> remember. No, no, it was. was Lowe's because we went to Walmart because it was the only place that was open at, like, midnight. Four in the morning. No, it was way later than that. Dude. And we, like, went to, like, the toy section and play with, like, stupid, like, oh, yeah, costume yeah, yeah, yeah. things. Yeah. Stupid. But, you know, oh, I, I would honestly time. say... Uh, I mean, hot Cheetos, like, that's, like, a given for me. Mm-hmm. Hot Cheetos with nacho cheese. <laughs> oh, dude, that... Sounds disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> Dude, that was so graphic. Uh. Like, if you're not watching this video... <laughs> I heard, you heard you, that. You knew exactly what, what yeah. just happened, but... Uh, but yeah, no, um, I definitely like uh, the nacho cheese Doritos with nacho cheese on top. Like, make those God, into nachos, dude. That is oh the most... Oh, my God. Most American thing I've ever heard. Hell, yeah, it is. Doritos with nacho cheese. Nacho cheese Doritos with, with nacho, nacho cheese. cheese. Yeah, and re- you put regular cheese, too, on it. Oh, just So you heat, up, yeah, you heat up the queso, and then you put it on top of your chips. Oh, and you're, then doing, you're doing it wrong, dude. You don't heat up your queso? No, you need to go to 7-Eleven, open the bag, and then oh, go to the... Oh, make some na- walking tacos? Yeah, like 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 the nacho cheese that's on there, you got to push it. I'm pretty sure they frown upon that. Not anymore. I mean, they maybe now, but hmm. back in my day. Just, dude, instead of getting a Slurpee, you just fill it up with nacho cheese. <laughs> the Slurpee crowd the crows. <laughs> Uh, yeah. th- are you a big fan of Duckies? Uh, so it's kind of fucked because I think I like the Fuego Takis better than Flamin' Hot Cheetos. That's, Just well, that's funny. That's like this generation's Hot Cheetos for us. Like, mm-hmm. you know, because we grew up with Hot Cheetos the whole time. So that's that's one thing. But and also, why was it like every Mexican girl in high school had a fucking bag of Hot Cheetos they walked around with still, all the time? Still. I don't understand. I don't understand. That's that's definitely... like I know they're delicious, but like, why the fuck is there a trope of these girls just walking around with fucking chips all the time? It's, that's a situation. <laughs> sorry, that's time. And that's like a situation where like I know stereotypes could be bad, but yeah. some of them are like there's an exception. You're just like, dude, like. Most Mexican girls like hot Cheetos. Like that's a yeah. fact. I don't care who you are. You can go to any high school and look for like the Mexican chicks, and one of them will have a bag of hot Cheetos in the bag or eating it. Like that's just the way it is. Yeah, just how it works. And like, is it sad now too? Like, kind of speaking on stereotypes, you could like look so- and look at someone, and be like, you wore like night uh, Nightmare Before Christmas pajama bottoms all through high school, didn't you? <laughs> that was definitely you, right? Moving on. If you see me... Moving on. Well, I was going to say, if you see me, what do you think I was in high school? A fucking loser. (laughs) Moving on. Round three. All right, next subject. Brought to you by Chris's... What the fuck is that shirt? Uh, It's like a galaxy, but with trying... This is sacred geometry. (laughs) (laughs) Shout out to Hector. (laughs) Shout out to Hector. Uh... Yeah, so the next topic, I think this is from our last guest, Eric. Uh, so Iron Man 3 out, still sucks, Eric. Shout out to, it's okay. Uh, shout out to Eric, uh, but MySpace is the next topic. It's better than Thor of the Dark World, though. Actually, Thor of the Dark World was far better than Ooh. Iron Man 3. But well, that's, hey. that's, a, that's another, well, that's yeah. another we'll, day. We'll get, another day. That. we'll get into that some other time. But anyway, MySpace. MySpace. Were you even old enough Your to have space. MySpace? <laughs> I'm like one year I'm younger than you. I'm talking to the other crowd. Oh, Morgan. I was talking to him. Yeah, dude. Of course yeah, you I are was. like a year younger than me. I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> I look <laughs> older than you too, man. What the fuck? Like, yeah, it doesn't mean shit. It does mean shit. You still talk like a child. So. Well, I guess I guess growing up poor, we didn't get internet right away. So, mm. uh, yeah. no, yeah, but I did have a MySpace. Didn't I still get have... one like for every time G mentions my poor mex- mentions how poor he is or says a Spanish word was over exaggerated with a Spanish accent. My space. <laughs> Like, like, no, I, uh, yeah, I mean, who didn't have one back in the day, right? Yeah, I fucking mean, poor people. Let's let's see what we remember. <laughs> Jesus, uh, I guess I wasn't that poor. Top eight, it used to be top four, right? Yeah, it well, yeah, it became like 
it was top five or top. Yeah, it was some small number. Jesus, that's how long it's been that we forgot. Yeah, so it was. Yeah, it was like your top five or top four or whatever. But then they expanded it, and I think you could code. To your, get it near MySpace page to have like a top twenty. It's okay. So for those something. for those young ones who don't know what we're talking about, for one, why are you listening to this fucking podcast? Yeah, go to Jesus fucking bed. Christ. Do something more productive. Yeah, go go to your TikTok. Uh, but no, pretty much what it is, it, it's just it was the beginning of social media. I think mm-hmm. it, on like a, a expanded aspect of it. Yeah, um, you had like instant messenger and like uh, all that stuff. That should right? be a topic too. I, I didn't really do it, so I mean that'd be all no. you talking the whole time. Uh, but yeah, it was like the first time where you would just interact with people outside of school, especially being like in high school. Yeah, yep. Um, and then you, this is the first time where like you'd have this like was those before cell phones. Yes, no, this is de- like this is well, all cell phones existed, but it was before they were iPhones. everybody had one. Yeah, before there were iPhones and <laughs> shitty Androids. But yep. Um, wow. But yeah, no, like you would have like people get upset with you because you're not they're not on your top eight. Yep. Uh, you would like do posts where you're just like. Oh my god! Like answer all these questions and like you would just answer them. I remember that, um, and it was also the first time I actually messed with uh, HTML. Yeah, everyone did. Which I'm pretty sure that was like the intro to a lot of people getting into that shit. Could be. I know, like I learned it and I thought I was pretty decent at it, but I forgot everything about it. Oh yeah, for sure. I yeah. don't remember anything about yeah. that. I had the worst fucking MySpace background, like on purpose. It was like this super homoerotic like caricature of Chuck Norris. It was fantastic, dude. It's not really homoerotic. It's just you Chuck should see Norris. this picture. It's just Chuck Norris. It was mm. homoerotic is mm. like Burt Reynolds and Playboy, Playgirl. I think is that what it was? Yeah. Just like hairy and just his crotch is the only thing that's like, like I think it's like a teddy bear or something like that. Uh, I think he's laying on a bear skin. I think yeah, I think you're right. I yeah, think, yeah, that was um, before our time. I don't know why we know that. <laughs> who's Burt Reynolds? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, yeah, I remember actually like, and then you could add like a custom song too. Yes. So you can add you, a player. That's right. Yeah. Every, when you, when you open it, it would play like Evanescence, well, wake me up and said, mine played Jerry was a race car driver. Of course. It so did. I had this super awesome picture of Chuck Norris. And then when you clicked on it, <laughs> it's, <laughs> that's amazing. Dude. Yeah, it's great. I, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I still have mine, but unfortunately I, I, uh, I canceled my, uh, Hotmail account, so I can't get, mm, I can't, can't recover, recover your password. Yeah. yeah. Shucks. I don't even I don't even know what email I used for MySpace, so I don't even That's know wild, if I dude. can log in. That's so it. crazy. That was so long ago. Yeah. But yeah, I and I remember I think it was my senior year when I first like started going into Facebook and I'm like, Facebook is stupid. So about MySpace. And like I, I remember actually like browsing through uh like layouts. Like there was mm-hmm. like websites dedicated to like yeah, having the make, li- yeah, yeah, I just had to copy and paste <laughs> the HTML to make it make it look that way. Yeah, that's when everything got easier. And then Facebook's like, fuck, you can't do any of that. And everyone's like, okay. Yeah, well, that's fine. And then that's how that's how Facebook started. Tom? Remember, yeah, Tom? remember Tom? What is Tom up to these Everyone's days? Everyone's first friend. Well, he's still my friend, yeah, I, think. I think. What is Tom up to these days, you think? Uh, I think he sold MySpace for a bajillion dollars and is just chilling. I don't think he did, did he? Uh, yeah, he sold MySpace to some music JT person. JT. JT bought MySpace. No, there you go. I'm not sure if he still owns it, but. Yeah, so but it, it like turned safe. into a like a Reverb Nation kind of thing, right? Yeah, all yeah. my music that was on there is not not on there anymore. Mm. I can't find it. Gross. Yeah, yeah. it's really bad. Yeah. It's like high school G just like, baby, I love you. <sighs> Dude, don't spoil the song we're working on. Oh, we're bringing that back? Yeah. It's gross. We don't want to <laughs> do that. I Actually, I remember I wrote a song that's called Best Friend, and it was me trying to like confess mm, my love to best my best friend. friend. And it was like, the, the first lyric was, it's been, sent, it's been friends since the ninth grade, and then it just went to shit from there, so. Oh. I would say it came a that's, long that's way. That's a hard oof. Yeah, I would say it came hard a long oof. way, but it's not. I've taken like three steps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've taken five, but also three steps back. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Who <laughs> do you remember your top eight? Anybody in your in top eight? Shit, dude. If I were to guess. I didn't know you way then back then, so. Fuck, dude. I don't even know who I was friends with back then. Probably. Tom. Uh, I dude, I don't know. I don't even know who I was fucking friends with. Yeah, Tom, so Tom was always my number one. Because I thought because it was you funny. Were that guy. Yeah, yeah, I that's thought it was fair. funny. <laughs> Fucking but yeah, it was probably like just my middle school buddies. I would guess, dude. Who are your middle school buddies? Well, I'm just not gonna fucking dox them on the internet. <laughs> just say their first name. Ryan. Okay. Colin. <laughs> They're white people. I'm guessing. I went to Heath. There were only a few white people there. <laughs> 
fuck, dude. Well, you're probably guaranteed those two for sure. Because yeah. I've been friends with those dudes since, like, Colin since, like, fucking elementary school. Then I met Ryan in middle school. All right, so if you're doing top four, you that's you need one more. Fuck, there. dude, I can't even remember. Probably whatever girlfriend I had at the time. You never had a girlfriend. Yes. You got me, G. Oh, so I knew fucking it. funny. I knew it. <laughs> uh I can't remember mine. Yeah, I don't even know. I think mine was like my buddy Mike, uh, my friend Shelby, my friend Gabby. Um, you, you were friends with girls? In I was friends with a, a lot of girls because I was In middle like, school and high school? Gross. Yeah, dude. I was in, That's when they have the cooties, dude. I know. I was all about the cooties. Wow. Fucking slut. But I went circle, circle, dot, dot. Now you have the cootie shot, even though you didn't ask for it. Did you see me just fucking touched me? That's assault, <laughs> sir. I gave it against your will, apparently. <laughs> it's tyranny. You vaccinated me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nope, not doing that. <laughs> Moving on. Anyway, there's fucking 10 seconds left. MySpace was cool. I wish MySpace, we had it back. MySpace, MySpace, MySpace. I really do. I actually did enjoy MySpace. But I guess, I mean, I was a kid. I probably wouldn't enjoy it now. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really enjoy Facebook. Do you know what's fucked up, though? I'm actually not enjoying Facebook as much, either. There was a collective <laughs> moment. That's time. But there was a collective hey, moment time. that everybody subconsciously had that they just stopped using MySpace. Yeah. How it's when, fucked is that? It's when Facebook was so much cooler. I dude, I didn't even get Facebook till I was already three in weeks college. ago. Yeah, but yeah, let us know what you guys think about your what things did we miss about MySpace? Because there's a lot that we probably missed, but mm. probably not. Mm. Mm. Oh, that was the first time you can follow artists. Or that was like the first like Twitter too. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I do remember because you would still get the feed on there, right? Mm-hmm. And you write status and stuff. Yeah, but we can't talk about it anymore because it's time. It's nostalgia and that doesn't sell anymore. On to the next subject. Round four. Next subject. Before we even start. Next subject. Nope, not yet. Next okay. subject now is... Now we can do next subject. Brought to you by Tommy. Tommy, thanks for listening. Thanks, Tommy. You know, if you want to, you know, just sponsor the show, you, you can. Or come be a guest. That too. And sponsor the show. Maybe we announce your sponsorship when you come and do the show. But then it'll be spoilers because the name will be in the title. That's fair. Anyways, anyway. this is from Tommy. His subject is farting in public. So, like, yes or no? Or how do you do it? Like, are we talking about techniques? I will start this off. I don't like doing... I don't like farting in public. I don't like pooping in public, either. Yeah, okay. Or, I guess, like, in, like, a public restroom. <laughs> or in public. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's kind of public, yeah. Although, downtown Greeley, every <laughs> once in a while, it's just, like, a shit... On the wall. Yeah. Yeah. I think they wrote Pink Floyd on there, too. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, that's off the wall. Oh, no, that's Michael Jackson. <laughs> I thought we were doing wrong answers. Oh, are we? Oh, there we go. Anyway, yeah. Well, you fucked it up. Or uh, yeah, to- I don't like, I'm not a big toot. Like, I'm not like, I don't like tooting, mm-hmm. like, in front of people. Tooting? Yeah. Yeah. No, man, I'm down to rip ass whenever. But the problem is, like, when you're in public, like, if you're sitting, yeah, dude, go for it. But, like, if you're walking, it's hard because your your cheeks are clenched just because you're walking. I don't. So you have to do one of those weird, like, stretches. Where you're like, like, do one of these. Ugh. Who does when that? Step. Who does that? People who fart when they walk. I guess. It's just like, let me find a park bench. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we got to go. I think I just sharted. But, uh, Dude, I have a story for you off mic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sucks, guys. Sorry. Um, Alan knows what's up. <laughs> oh, shit. I definitely need to hear this. But, yeah, I think my biggest fear is that it's going to be too stinky that I'm going to get judged super hard. That's like, I wonder if something mm. like when I was younger, like something happened where I'm just like so traumatized from it, but I just can't. Like, I will hold it in. Until I have a moment yeah. by myself where like, I'm in an alleyway where I know no one's going to walk by. Dude, yeah, man. Like, my stomach doesn't no, – no reason to cramp, dude. No reason to cramp by holding farts. I, 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 and the stinkier they are, then the better you are. I guess, dude. I, so you're, it's the opposite, though. If it's more stinky, then it's better. If you just loud and no smell, then psh, the fuck was that bullshit? Bro? No, my – I don't know, dude. Huh? Like <laughs> – <laughs> <laughs> Although there, I mean, shout out to people who just don't give a fuck, dude. That's yeah, that takes courage. You want to talk, talk about courage? Is, best is, way to live life, dude. Is farting in public and being like, "Yep, sorry." You no, know, it's courage. Farting after you eat a bean burrito, and trusting it's just a fart. Nope, that's that's definitely that's that's daredevilish, dude. Yeah. That's like a jackass. Dude. <laughs> it's like there's a thin line between being brave and being dumb, or <laughs> being insane. <laughs> hey, Do you have any any embarrassing farting stories? Not really. Yeah, like, dude, yeah, I, I don't know. You don't, have, you don't have dignity, so I guess yeah, it's I, a... I'm a very unique person. I don't have a lot of shame, I think is the word. 
Shame, I think. Shame, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, like I don't get embarrassed by doing a lot of shit. So like someone will call me out on something like, oh, you fucking like fell. I'm like, yeah, man, I tripped. Like that's oh no, not those embarrassing. actually I actually I embrace know. embrace my like idiocy when I eat shit. There was yeah. one time I was running to the DJ booth at, at the box at at the box. I don't know why I struggled with that one. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I also don't mind the people shouting in the background. I'm pretty sure there's like a knife fight happening, but mm. it's um, just the people in our basement. No, it's not. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I was I had to go change the song, and I was like, like at the bar trying to get drinks, and I I slipped and fell because it was like wet. Because it's the box. And I I mean I'm a big dude. I made a loud <laughs> thud because no one would like. There was like seven people there. Yeah. <laughs> it was like ah. Then <laughs> 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 And so yeah, that's like that didn't embarrass, that didn't embarrass me. But if I were to rip ass in front of like a like a, a crowd like on accident, I would be extremely embarrassed. Yeah, I can eat shit and be fine, but I can't fart shit and then not be embarrassed. Mm. Yeah, right. Is that yeah? Yeah, but no, I mean like even with I girlfriends, like I don't, I try not to fart in front of them. Dude, yeah, I don't think I've had a girlfriend that's farted in front of me. But I do. I don't. Sorry. For if you were ever my girlfriend, I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Jesus, you poor thing. Yeah. Except for that one. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Mine or yours? Does it matter? <laughs> There's always one. Both. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man. Like I don't know. I just yeah. Like I said, I don't just want a stomach cramp. I'm good. I'll just let it go. I'll, I will find like a, secu- a secluded place where I'm just like, all right, this is a little risky, but uh, let, let's make it happen. Mm-hmm. Dude, there was like a I forgot what movie it was, but it's Seth Rogen doing some bit in this movie and he was just talking about farting on an airplane and how it's just so loud no one can hear you <laughs> so that's kind of like if i'm at like work it's loud enough where i can rip ass freely that's fair because no one's gonna hear it i just i hate those that like know that it's gonna be a stinky one and they just do it and they're just like Ugh. and i'm like dude that's yep. fucking gross when like, someone farts and it smells and then that person's like who farted yeah i'm like, just like fucking a bastards. dude go yeah. Go, go die because your stomach is totally yeah. done right now you fuck yeah um yeah no man i mean flagellants is a thing yeah that's why i'm not embarrassed by it and, and I, I know i shouldn't be either but i totally am have you ever have you ever heard me fart maybe have you ever heard me fart no well you can change that although right now. I, it's funny <laughs> 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 beep <laughs> sorry chris had to leave and uh i shit myself <laughs> And he wouldn't even be embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. This lack of dignity actually helps with that. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I have a, a friend of mine who, like, loves doing it. Like, that's, like, his thing. Just farting? Like, his niche is, like, no matter where it's at, he's like, eh. He's like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, That laugh, fucking. too. People who laugh like that 100% fart, fart in people's public, faces. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've never been farted on my, I guess, like, no one's ever farted on my face. Actually, once, it was my dog. Uh, okay, I was, I was like, like pick uh, his uh, I'm like, what the fuck, Russ? And he's just like, what? <laughs> Dick. Yeah, yeah, man. I don't know. Flagellances. I don't know. I, and it's funny. Like I, I'm so self conscious about it. I'm trying to eat better for the sake of like your fart smelling better. Yes. Dude, That's have you ever like exactly farted it and it like smelled like what you ate and it was disturbing because no. it didn't smell bad. No. Like there's one time I ate like some like chicken ramen noodles or something <sighs> and it farted and it smelled like the seasoning and I was like. Huh. I wonder That's how many interesting. I wonder how many people are actually uncomfortable hearing us talking about this. I mean, hopefully all of them. Yeah, sorry. I mean, this is better than your first boner. I don't know. That's that was a pretty good conversation. That's what I'm saying. I, I, <laughs> I think people are, are more willing to talk about their farts than they're the first bon- boner. I mean, maybe. I, I'd rather talk about my first boner bef- before talking about farts. Before farting. Oh yeah. Before the end of this episode, I'm farting. Are you really? No, nah, I'm probably shit myself. <laughs> Gross! I don't want to. I don't want to know, dude. You can't f- see, and that's the thing too. You can't force a fart. I know a lot of people try to force farts, and it just doesn't work. Yeah, I can't. I mean, <laughs> I was watching Jackass the other day, and it was uh, uh, Johnny Knoxville going to a yoga class uh-huh. and just farting the whole time. <laughs> and he just Great. like gets up and just like walks away, exactly like he shit himself, and everyone in the class just starts laughing. <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> oh, that's good. Lucky you. It's time. Tell us about your flatulence. Yes. In the comments section. You have good ones, bad ones, stinky yeah. ones. I don't know. Just no. ones. Farting ones. <sighs> That's cheese. Oh, it's the next one. Beep. Final round. Thank you guys again for tuning in ready. to 
best of five podcast. I wasn't ready. Start over. We hope you guys are enjoying You're these. Not starting over. We're glad to be back. But let's start off with the final subject of this episode. Let's start off with the final subject. Yeah. Like right now, as of like now. So we're starting now. No, no, we're starting. So what you did, we didn't one. start. Can I go now, though? Sure. Favorite board game. What's I your favorite board game? Was this one of Joe's questions? Which Joe? Poppy Joe. Like your dad? No. Oh. Like my poppy. Oh, like Joe Joe. Yeah. Like, like the singer. Huh? No. It's <laughs> he plays drums. You remember JoJo? Oh. Ah, okay. That's fair. Favorite board game. Stupid. Do you see what he did to your name, Joe? Joe. Sue him. Sue him. <laughs> Joe. Don't, don't sue me. Joe. Sue him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Favorite board game. Uh, you want to include like card games into this? Like family card games? I don't or know. Or do you just want to do boards? Well, if we run out of material, we'll talk about card games. Okay. Because, I mean, I don't necessarily have a favorite board game per se, but I definitely do have a favorite like card game to play with family. I like Risk. Risk is probably my favorite you one. You fucking would. You probably like Settlers of Catan, too. You fucking crazy person. I've never heard of it, actually. If you like Risk, you'll like Settlers. Oh. I mean, I like... It's a super nerdy game, like Risk. All I'm saying is that Risk is, like, the one I've played the most, and that therefore it's my favorite. I don't play it all the time. I haven't played a board game in fucking years. Because they're all, like, apps now? Yeah. You don't even have to bust actually, out a board. Yeah, so yeah. La- actually, I was thinking about this today. <laughs> I was going to hit up uh, Ben and my buddy Josh and do, like, a... FaceTime Risk like on our tabs. Tablets. Didn't we play Risk at Gentry's? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, fucking for like three days straight. Yeah, we're we just all like, just met up at Gentry's and played Risk. We're just like, God damn it, God, I'm like serving drinks. I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I like Risk. It's it's pretty fun. Uh, some really cool memories. The really sore losers in that game. It's really hundred percent, dude. Um, Whoever has Australia and doesn't leave Australia, yeah, you're just like, you're such a it. bitch. Yeah, me. Yeah, I mean that's the that sucks about board games that they take too long sometimes. Yeah, they do. Like, is D and D considered a board game? Yeah, it is. Is it? Well, it's considered a tabletop game. I've never played it, so yeah, I wouldn't know. Um, so I like Risk. I'm not a big fan of Monopoly. Dude, I love Monopoly because I always win because I'm a shyster. I just think I just there's so many like versions that I've heard of it that I've never played like a f- like a correct game. I feel like I know the rules verbatim for Monopoly for the exact reason when someone starts arguing with me, I know the rules. I'd be like, um, actually. God, you're that guy. Yeah, dude. I'm the rule keeper in any game I play because I manipulate the rules to a point to my advantage, but I call people out and they try to break the rules. That's Dallas. That's, that's how you win. That's how you win. That's a winner's mentality, G. That's the cheating it's like, mentality. It's like Kobe, Michael Jordan, and me. All right? <laughs> you're, the, you're the Kobe of board games. Well, I mean, I always consider myself like the LeBron of board games. Oh, so total douche who fucking... Just Nailed it. complains about the whole thing. Nailed it. That's yeah, definitely you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. Space like, Jam 3? <laughs> call me. <laughs> uh, was that Warner Brothers that does that? Yeah. Call me WB. The WB. Um, Do you remember the WB frog? Yeah. Fucking hated that piece of shit. I anyway. Like, I like that Dave Chappelle was like, that's a racist ass frog. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess my favorite board game to play with my family probably is Clue. I actually love we Clue. Play, we play. I love Clue. <laughs> you get yeah, the, yeah, okay, yeah, you get yeah, to call that. Yeah. All right. Chode. Uh, Chode. Uh, yeah, so probably Clue. We play a lot of Clue with my family because we have some, like, we just started saying stupid shit. So, like, when someone makes any move, we're just like, hmm, interesting. And it, like, I don't know. I don't know why we started doing it, but we started <laughs> doing it. And then on every move that we make, someone says, hmm. Isn't that, isn't that like, the first, like, like murder mystery, like th- role playing game. You I know what I mean? Because so, yeah, like, yeah. I know some people like are like, well, my name is Mister Custard. Like very. Yeah, it's like the murder mystery dinner party. Yeah, that's that's. <laughs> I think that's what it is for sure. No, I like. I think Clue. I'm getting old because I kind of want to do one of those. What, oh yeah, I don't know. I've never done one, but you've never done anything because you. I don't bored. like. I don't like acting, like that. Because you, you're no fucking fun. But it's funny. Like someone wants me to go, uh, or <laughs> not someone. Eric and Shaughnessy want me to go. Uh, LARP? LARPing, and I'm just like, if I'm an Aztec warrior, yes, because there's no Mexicans in in Middle in medieval times. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> now there is. Now there is, yeah. I'm an Aztec warrior. Um, <laughs> you know, you, you know, <laughs> you know what uh, what board game I actually loved growing up was like Trouble and Sorry. Oh, okay. I just like that. Yeah, I never was into those like. I I kind of mean this derogatory, but I was never into those like kid board games. That's not derogatory. It's just what it is. Yeah. But I was like, yeah, I liked the other. I liked life. Higher critical. Yeah, life was all right. Life was fun. 
I just nobody really wins because you'd always be like, "Fuck, <laughs> I have a kid." <laughs> yeah, every time. <laughs> How do I have six kids and I'm not married? What is this? Yeah, the na- 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, if we're moving into like card games, no, I, I still, I still more board games we can talk about. Damn it. Yeah, but I'm. Um, what else is there? Card games. So uh, anyway, Candyland. Do you ever play Candyland? Yeah, fucking shoots and ladders. Candyland, I fucking hate those things. Never really all it. So, okay. Ooh, checkers. I'll t- I'm going to tell you a story Chess. right now. I have never won a single game of Candyland so against my daughter. Oh, cuz it's like it's like a kid like a kid thinking game and you're just not no, a kid anymore. No, it's completely luck based. Really? Because how you move in Candyland is you shuffle the cards, you draw a card, and you move to that color. Gotcha. That's literally how you play that game. Cranium was actually really fun. Did you ever play Cranium? Yeah, you have to like model, draw, and yeah, yeah. sing and shit. I like that one yeah, actually. Yeah. That one's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, chess and checkers. Are you into any of that? I wasn't a chess for a long time. I was in a chess club when I was in. You want to start playing chess against you? Yeah, oh, you're gonna win every time. Yeah, so no. Oh, Okay, I want to get better. I want. You I want definitely to definitely don't play. I me. want us to be the old men who like are like at a park like bench and we bring our Dude, own things. What and things would be like the that? equivalent for millennial old men? Like they're sitting there and just like playing Pokemon. Like yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon Go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to battle you. Oh. But it's going to be holographic at the end. Just you think about it and it yeah, just does you it. Yeah, tap your eyes or yeah. something. Like, Back yeah, in my tight. day, we used our fingers. All right, Grandpa, let's get you to bed. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Have you seen that meme right now? Because uh, Fred Durst from Limp Bizkit, like, dressed up as an old person or whatever. Oh, uh, did he? Yeah, and that meme where he's, like, he's on a walker, and it's like, I did it all for the nookie. It's like, okay, Grandpa, it's your nap time. So you can stick that cookie. Yeah, S- it's great. Stupid. All right, card games, go. <laughs> uh, Uno? Okay. You, you know you fuck with Uno? I'm... I grew out of it. Okay. What about Phase Ten? Never played it. Ooh. Spoons I, is where it's at for me. We're not allowed to play spoons in my household anymore. <laughs> Have you ever done like like spoons like extreme spoons? That just sounds like spoons. Where it's like, <laughs> yeah, you're right, <laughs> but it's with a twist. The spoons are actually like across the room or like outside or something like that. So, so when it's four of kind, you slap it and everyone starts running. It's really yeah, pretty good. That's a pass. Uh, but yeah, we like literally had a set of spoons. That were just for spoons because yeah. we'd fucking break, break. them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Play knives. Fuck it. Knives. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good one. Any more card games before time goes up? No. Rush is pretty good. Or speed? Is that what it is? Oh, uh, yeah. We're the like, high or low kind yeah, of thing. I actually yeah. like that one growing Dude, up. But. Uh, have you played Asshole? Is it bullshit? No, uh, Asshole is what it's called. Uh, so it's. Uh, it's a card game. I don't want to explain all the rules in detail, but basically I got on one of my family vacations, I got my entire family to play it and my brother brought his family friends or whatever. Yeah. So I got their little kids to start playing it. And every time a little kid's like, Hey, Hey, can we, uh, can we play the butthole game? <laughs> <laughs> and that is time. And I was like, and I was like, legit. uh, context. That's like the most, yeah, <laughs> no, we can't. No, yeah, but it's Gloria. Great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's so wrong funny. With your kids. It's so funny. <laughs> that was time, but I mean, whatever. Yeah, we'll yeah. fix it in post. Yeah, you will. We'll just we'll just have you say time, and then we'll just move it. Time. <laughs> and that is time. And then we'll move yeah, it. Yeah, 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 cool. Yeah. Well, thank you guys again for tuning in. We hope you <laughs> guys enjoyed be, that. They're gonna hear. Oh, they're oh gonna, god. They're gonna hear that and not get it until right. There. Right. <laughs> Thank you guys again for tuning in. We hope you guys are enjoying these. Uh, we're at 39 right now. Holy shit. Mm. Almost 40. Almost time for a podcast to get a colonoscopy. Oh. If we're assuming an episode is a year of age in this metaphor that I made up right now. And it's ruined. G? If you guys are watching this on YouTube, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend about it as well. We're trying to get this page a little bit more interactive, so please comment to us. I know we have a couple of people that do it. That do it and, uh, a couple people? Yeah. Um, I don't know why you. Yeah, that. that was. I think that was a, the beer that's stuck in my throat. That's but fair. Yeah, and then if it's if you're listening to a podcast, rated or whatever. Yeah, I do the YouTube. I don't know, man. Well, we got to switch it up every once in a while, man. I don't like change. I'm uncomfortable. Well, he hates every four years or eight years, depending on when you know. The Olympics. Yeah. No, I was talking about the World Cup. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's like, it's supposed to be in the Rio. Damn it! <laughs> why is it in Qatar? 
But thank you guys again for tuning in. We hope you guys have a good day. See you next time here on Best. Oh, we're not doing that.